Okay. Well, body's in the health office. Poor kid. But why'd you call the homicide department? Because I have a good reason to believe that he was murdered. Murder? Here? The biggest crime we've had this year was the break-in in the science lab department. And we figured it was just some bored high school kids looking for something to get high. At the very least, I want the coroner to perform an autopsy as soon as possible. Bad news. Murder? The kid was poisoned. The stuff was so potent that only a couple of drops were needed. What do we do now? We're gonna trace the poison back to the buyer. You were David's best friend? Yeah, yeah, I was. I helped him pass his chemistry final. He's been my friend ever since. My name is Gray. Max Gray. I do want to ask you a couple questions about his death. Uh, did David have any enemies that you can really think of? Most people don't. You're wrong about that. Everyone has enemies. Just we can't always see them is all. If you say so. Actually, no, no, it's not important. Everything's important in a case. It doesn't matter what it is. His girlfriend. Her name's Annabelle. Annabelle... Schlegel. Annabelle Schlegel. Annabelle Schlegel. So what's with Annabelle Schlegel? She told him she was going to kill him. Dave, if I ever see you again, I'll cut you up so bad your own mother wouldn't even recognize you. Why? Never? She was a total bit Dad! Where'd you hear bro? She was a nut job. A total nut job. She carried a butterfly knife bat in her boot. She, she does what in the what? She carries a butterfly knife about in her boot! Okay, you ain't got to shout that. Does sound like perfect murder material though. I'll take a look. I'd never seen her get angry at him. You got anything else that can help me catch the guy who did this? No. All right then, go back to your perch. Caught oh, yes. you. Gray! What? Why you gotta shout? I catch the monster who did this. Monsters? There's no such thing as monsters. Those are just fairy tales that we tell our children. They're only men wearing masks. And I'm going to unmask this killer. Hello, Ava. I'm Max Gray. Do I really look like the kind of girl who cares? No, you probably don't. But I do need to ask you a couple questions. You know, about David's murder. What about it? So I'd love to discuss the details in front of Tweedledum and Tweedledee here. I'd like to talk this in, about this in private. Thank you. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Well, I don't want to answer a few questions. An emotional subject? <laughs> ha, 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 ha. No. Look, kid. Some's only valuable when it's in low supply. So I lost one friend. I can get another one. Besides, I only talked to that loser because his mom was head of the cheerleading trials. So you use people for your own gain? Doesn't everybody? You know something? Make me sick. People like David aren't tools to be used and then thrown away when their worth is over. <laughs> Class started five minutes ago, you know. Well, 
if you're not going to class, that does leave time for more important things. Get lost, Creep. No, 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 that came out of my mouth all wrong. Look, I'm here to ask you questions about death. If you say that name one more time, I'll gut you like a bitch. Like you threatened to do to your boyfriend, duh, that dude over there who's dead? How do you know about that? Darren told me. Little creep, always hanging around David like it made him special. I guess it did help him get a girlfriend, though, because it wasn't by anything he did. You're not really taking the implications of what I'm accusing you of very seriously. You think I killed him? No, I'm not really sure if you're the murderer or not. The fact of the matter is, you're looking like suspect number one. You didn't do it, Max. You're gonna have to do a lot better than that to convince me. Go away. What? Are you gonna stab me? Because then we'll know who's capable of murder. You better believe I am. You know something? I don't think you are. In fact, I think you loved him. Love? You know, people don't talk that way anymore. Maybe if they did, the world would be a better place. Yes, yes, I loved him. Love can be as strong as hate, and oddly enough, it can be even more destructive. What are you doing? Searching. For what? For the bottle of poison that killed David. Can I help? Darren, this has to be done carefully and with precision or else the killer's gonna get away, and I'll never be able to avenge David's death. Gray, someone kill my best friend. I want to help. All right, but don't screw this up. Any luck finding anything? No, all I found is this sudden urge to throw up. Ah, potential evidence, you idiot. All right, just do it this way. And don't really Good work, Max Gray. From who? They didn't say. Look, leave murders to the experts, okay? Look, I would, but I don't see any around here. That's a suspension, both of you, two weeks. Thanks a lot, Gray. Right. Welcome, Darren, but before you go, can you do me a favor? Can you give me that bottle? What are you talking about? You killed him, right? Why would I kill my best friend? The same reason Annabelle threatened his life. You said you'd never seen her like that before. Let me ask you something. What could make her so mad she would want to kill him? I'll tell you. David, David was sticking his hand in the cookie jar and he got caught. He was cheating. And this relates to me. How? I found the answer on your Facebook profile. Your status went from in a relationship to single. It changed on the exact same day. Annabelle threatened David. Can you tell me something, Darren? Does that sound like a coincidence to you? You found them together. Your best friend and your girlfriend. What was it you told me? What was it that you told me on that first day that we met? Yeah, yeah, I want to say. Helped him pass his chemistry final. He's been my friend ever since. I went and did a little digging. That chemistry test, no one passed it except for you. And of course, Darren. You have to be a chemistry genius to come up with some kind of chemical that can kill somebody and not be traced back. Murder? Here? The biggest crime we've had this year was the break-in in the science lab department. God, how easy it must have been to slip the poison into his coke. You were so mad you killed your best friend. Over what? A girl? Where's your evidence? The information on my phone gives me the exact names chemicals that were stolen. I can almost guarantee you, in fact, I know for a fact, that what is found in David's body are the exact same chemical combinations that were taken from the lab. How do you know I did it? Prove that, Sherlock. You empty your pocket. Look, I saw you, I knew that you were trying to throw that bottle of poison away. You had no idea how long I had to hold my head over that stinking bag of garbage. Now, be polite and give me the book. It's a lie. And it's a lie here is your little charade. Principal! Empty your pockets.
wasn't one bottle in any of the containers that we looked for. You must have done something. Where did you put the bottle? Oh, the great Max Gray. You think you're so brilliant, don't you? But you missed one very important fact. I still think of garbage trucks. Come along and they pick up the trash and take it to a dump. And do you know how many days it's been since you died? How many days it's been since the trash bins were emptied? Why on earth did you even think that it would still be there? That's all. I'll be leaving. I'm so sorry, Gray. It's not over yet. Do you really think you're going to get away with his murder? Yes, I do, Gray. No one knows that I did it. No one can prove that I did it. No evidence. Do you know what that means? I know it means that I know that you did The principal knows that you did it. Annabelle knows that you did it. And by God, if it takes me the rest of my life, I'll put you away. Uh, oh! In fiction, it's funny how everything's just so simple. Stuff like Law and Order, CSI, hey, even Monk. Black and white. You see the hero, the hero solves the crime, finds the bad guy, puts him in jail. Or they have a gunfight, but either way, the hero walks away safe, and everybody's happy. But in real life, it's just not like that. It's just not that black and white. We lose evidence. Sometimes the criminals slip through the cracks, and the hero becomes the villain and gets punished for it. I don't know, but just sometimes in life, in the real world, everything is just so, so great.